The heavy rain that fell this morning in the Porto region has already left streets and stores flooded. The National Civil Protection Authority said that there were 193 occurrences until 1 p.m. Felipe Oroo, vice president of the Porto Chamber, reacted to the floods that hit the city at the end of this Saturday morning, admitting that the Metro do Porto works, taking place in the downtown area of the city, may have contributed to the floods but were not the cause of the floods. Cause. But we are concerned and studying ways to prevent it from happening again, he said. The vice president of Rui Moreira assured that the safety of people and goods is not at stake, the safety of all is guaranteed, but noted that, for the first time, rainwater did not drain into the Vila River, which flows under the ground in that area. We have a river that runs down here, which normally transports water. We are evaluating why this happened for the first time. If we do not detect ways to correct it, it could happen again, he noted. The phenomenon that the city has never seen in this space is not related to any breach of conduct, guarantees the autarky. We had a storm, we had a big waterfall in a short period of time, that's what happened. In the city we had 56 occurrences that are practically resolved, Felipe Arouo, vice president in charge of the environment and climate transition and also innovation and digital transition. The mayor assured that the municipality was prepared for the weather and with its teams on the ground we were prepared with all the teams on the ground. We have many teams from all areas of civil protection, firefighters, cleaning teams, all of them are and they were prepared for the weather, he assured. The Sao Bento metro station was meanwhile reopened at 1610 after the cleaning work was completed and is operational, an official source from Metro do Porto told Lusa. The National Civil Protection Authority, contacted by the DN, said that between 2300 hours on Friday and 1300 hours on Saturday there were 193 occurrences, all this morning, 75% of which were related to floods and 13% to road cleaning. Commander Jose Miranda, operations officer, explained that the worst period was between about 11.40 a.m. and 12.30 p.m. and in the Porto metropolitan area. The most affected areas are the center of Porto and Vila Nova de Gaia. In the region of Braga there were also floods, says CMTV. Civil Protection says, however, that compared to the Porto region, the occurrences in Braga, Viana do Castelo, Oroveiro, which were also under orange alert by the IPMA, were residual. On Friday, the Civil Protection issued a warning to the population for the worsening weather conditions over the weekend, with rain and strong wind and sea turmoil, recommending the adoption of preventive measures. The circulation of trains on both routes between Sao Bento and Campania, in Porto, has been suspended since 1700 hours and will remain in the next hours, a source from Infraestructuras de Portugal, IP, revealed to Lusa. The suspension was decided upon at the request of the civil protection due to the instability of a wall next to the railway line, adds IP, which has already moved a maintenance team to the site. At the same time, during the stoppage period, the railway infrastructure management company hopes to be able to complete the drainage of rainwater that has accumulated at the site. CP informs, by the way, that users can travel for free on the Porto Metro between Campania, Trindade, Subento during the period in which circulation is suspended. The Sociedad de Transportes Coletivos do Porto, STCP, announced that its bus network is operating normally, despite the heavy rains that hit the city forcing detours on some lines. Following the floods that occurred today in the center of Porto, STCP informs that the bus network is operating normally, the company said in a statement. STCP stated that it was necessary to make some detours on the lines that circulate through the Sao Bento slash marginal area, such as Line 500, Praca de Liberdade Madicinhos, Market, which is being diverted along Rua de Restricao, and Line 403, Boa Vista, Casa Musica, Campania, which is being diverted along Rua do Fraixo. Regarding the circulation of Line 1 of the electric car, Infante Paseo Alegre, it was temporarily suspended at the end of the morning for work on cleaning the track, having resumed its normal circulation from 1500 hours, the company also said. The sapadores of Vila Nova de Gaia registered more than 60 occurrences between 1030 and 1300 hours motivated by the heavy rain that fell in the municipality and which closed several roads. We received more than 60 requests for help, and 90% of the situations were in the parish of Canadello, revealed to Lusa a source from sapadores who also noted occurrences in the neighboring parishes of Santa Marinha, Afurata, and Valadares.
The source also pointed out that floods and collapse of walls were the most common occurrences. With no injuries recorded, it was still necessary to remove a person from a car that was flooded by water on Avenida Professor Orlando Ribeiro, he added. The source also reported on the closure of Rua de Praia in Afurada due to the increased flow of the Douro River.